Hello, everybody, and I have... I I just wanted to make this because I've been spending the past few hours going down a rabbit hole of deck building, and I just want to share what has um, become of that. Let's begin our turn. We are playing Vampire Monarch, two of my favorite decks of all time, just mashed into each other, completely mangled. Um, and the reason for this is, well, <laughs> I just, I just was like looking somewhere and I saw something that said like people used to use a vampire red baron as a tech against, uh, fucking what's it called? Um, hmm. What are we at here? I think the ad's either ghost or sorcerer. I think sorcerer is the safe play. Or maybe shadow vamp. Probably s sorcerer. Because then I can make a savior or a sucker and get a search off of retainer. Kind of wish I had a vampire tribute because I have a bunch of those at hand. Anyway, I was looking through, I think it was Twitter, a Twitter thread about how people used to use for the purposes of, I have a better idea, for the purposes of extra deck monarchs back in the day when that was a deck, which is a sick deck by the way. Um, they would use Vampire Red Baron as a tech against zombie strategies, because Zombie World kind of killed them, you know? And I, that's when it dawned on me that Vampire Red Baron has the stat line of a Monarch, of course. It's got 2,400 attack and 1,000 defense. But not only that, both the Vampire and Monarch decks are... This is... Oh, this is a Nordic. Okay. Well, we will... Awakening. And we will also Maxi. But both of these archetypes center around Tribute Summoning, right? So if I could use them both together, then... You know. And I spent a very long time shuffling around with uh, what to do with it. I never actually really found a good solution, to be honest. Um, and I wound up with this 60 card monstrosity. Um, I wanted to try to do like a Vampire Kingdom based deck for a while. Um, eventually, it wound up being more. Did I just draw Shadow Vamp? I did. So, in that case, let's add Ghost. Yeah. Um, oh, I should have added. Fuck, I should have added Retainer. Damn it. Oh well. I will simply draw Retainer. I just really wanted to show- <laughs> I simply drew Retainer. I I just thought it would be so funny if I did this. And this deck is terrible. This deck is really bad. And I wanted to do like a- a um... <laughs> I wanted to do like a control engine with the, the Vampire Kingdom stuff. So I was running like two Kingdom, three Takeover, and like a Duke and a Grace. Two Dukes and a Grace. Too much deck space. Drew another Vamp. Um... So, it, I was literally running out of space because these two engines are pretty big. You kind of, I just got to max out on retainers and ghosts and familiars and got to put in more shadow vamps than normal. You got to put in those red barons, um, other cool stuff like vampire dragon, which looks ugly as fuck, but it's a really cool card. Um, you tribute summon it, and then if it dies, you get to add any level four lower monster from your deck to your hand. That's pretty crazy gotta have three ether um then i kept adding in more like targets for and i kept obviously need more like pantheism because that's one of the greatest things you could possibly do with monarchs it's the best monarch card really okay what do we been here could been a sorcerer we already have a sorcerer in the grave that doesn't do much motor retainer or wabod what does this guy do in the grave again uh, monster special summon from opponent's graveyard. Tribute two monsters special summon in the graveyard. Um, which I don't imagine he does a lot of that. 
I can banish and pay with ghost. I think it's. I think we send a ghost. Sick. Um. I was like, because you got, you also gotta add it max out on fucking. Wait, what? What is this? Oh. Stormforth. Hmm. That's interesting. Probably not gonna do that actually though. Maybe near the end I can do that. I can get an extra normal, and I can do that. Okay, so this guy, I haven't actually played much with Vampire Ghost. So I can send the retainer. Okay, let's not do that right now. Let's familiar here, pitching the retainer. Is this guy once per turn? Of course he is. Use each effect. Yeah. Dang, so I can't get multiple extra normals with ghosts. Um, we will add a red baron here. Then let's retainer. Let's pitch the extra shadow vamp. Special him. Getting low on life points, but this is okay. Still got enough for sure. Add the domain. There's just a lot of cards you really want to max out on here. So, because of that, this deck, obviously it's a Monarch deck, so it's bricky as all shit, but damn is it sick. Alright, alright. Do we use the effect of Sorcerer here? I think we do. Sorcerer. Normal summon Shadow Vamp without tributing. It also, this deck also gives me an opportunity to run a bunch of really cool cards that you normally don't get to, such as um, the Vampire Dragon, the Vampire Sorcerers you don't usually run, and also the Red Barons, and also, also, the fucking... What are they called? Um, vampire Vamp, that's what I'm thinking of, sorry. Oh, it's immediately normal summon a monster. I can't do Stormforth with that. Damn, I fucked up. Okay, this is fine. No. Red Baron. Tribute. Retainer. What's Red Baron here? Red Baron. Pay a thousand. Target Odin. And Familiar. Swap Control. <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. Oh my god. We could make Zombie Vamp or Damp here, but I'm not gonna do that. I am instead going to... We can... Oh, we still have the Domain Normal! We're running low on life points, but that's okay because we have Domain on the field. We can Storm Forth. We can Tribute... Over there... Hmm, what do we wanna... That's a tuner. Yeah, I think we tribute over this Mara to get him. Then we go battle. We unfortunately can't hit over anything, or hit with anything other than Voivode. We're gonna hit this so we get the domain to give us life points back. Ah, oh, this is sick! Ooh! Until the end of this turn. Okay, so we got Odin now. <laughs> this is so many cool things. I should add back Vamp back into the deck. Anyway, this deck is terrible, but it's so cool. I just, I've spent the past two hours just doing this. <laughs> okay, I don't know what Nordics do very much. And that's right. Let's hold it for now. So what did that do? Uh, special summon, but oh, it, it's bandage. Add a Nordic monster and then shuffle something back. So we added this it, the mon with a level less than or equal to. Okay, here's where we either. 
and we banish Stormforth. We normal summon this, and we don't tribute using one monster. We tribute using two, and that'll be Shadow Vamp and Vampire Dragon. And we summon Ether. Vampire Dragon fucking misses timing. That is so sad. I should have tributed that. Okay. Um, anyway, let's send Prime and Pantheism. Summon. We have Selvaclar. That's okay. We summon Kuraz here. He scoops! Aha! Yo! This deck is crazy. Oh my god, this is hilarious. This is so funny. Okay, okay, okay. Gotta, gotta... How, how else is this? How, how, what else can we, like, do with this? I want to put in Vamp so bad. I don't think it's good in any capacity, but I really want to put in Vamp. We can cut one copy of Sork. Yeah, let's cut a copy of Sork for... Where is she? Vamp. Vamp is one of my favorite cards of all time. Also, we could play Froyline, but I don't know what to cut for that because there's just a bunch of cool stuff. I also put in Berlinith just because I think he's really cool as well. And he's actually a pretty good vassal. Um, all the vassals have um, two effects. Mithra is one that people often use because it's tribute summon effect is that you get an extra normal. Um, I'm pretty sure. Uh, yeah, but the normal is specifically a tribute summon. But this one is if it's tributed, it doesn't have the best special summon, you gotta discard the special, it's like the tricky. But if you tribute summon him, using him, you get to, um, <laughs> you get to, like, confiscation their hand. And I think that's dope. Anyway, so you can see kind of what the deal is, you do generic vampire stuff, which I'm very familiar with, and then hopefully you have stuff like ether in the hand, and you use stuff like pantheism to draw, tenacity to add stuff. And sometimes you use Domain to lock yourself out of the extra deck, so they also lock themselves out of the extra deck, and then you summon Big Bone Guy and attack. I was even running, at one point, Illusory Snatcher in this, because it was a free Xyz with whatever you tribute summoned, but just too many locks out of the extra. Okay, Return is good. Retainer is okay. Let's Return. This locks us out of the extra while it's on the field, but that shouldn't be terrible. Idea. Special Eidos. And I would like to tribute... I'll tribute for Celeglare here, because I want to keep the Aether, and I'll add with Return. I will add... Caius? I put Caius in here just because he's cool. Or Red Baron. Caius or Red Baron. Got Retainer in hand, so I think Red Baron. I think that's good. I know some other cool cards I could play are like uh, Scarlet Skirt. I'm not playing that. Um, I'm not playing... Obviously, there's that whole package I really wanted to run with the Kingdom stuff. I thought it would have been super good. All it is, is it's just... So Vampire Kingdom is when something is sent from... Their, oh, they're playing Light Twin. Okay. Um, snatch. <laughs> uh, maybe I should have held out for like a link monster to snatch. Oh well. This doesn't negate though, unfortunately. Chain home. That's okay, that locks him in the evil twin. Sick. Um. Scarlet Scourge is good. There's a bunch of other stuff. Obviously, all of the Monarchs. I was considering running Ryza. Uh, Mobius is also good. Uh, there's Erebus, which is a hand rip, and it's kind of like an Aether, but you can do it on the opponent's turn. Um, there's a there's a card I wanted to play at one point called Tenma Taite, which is just a Monarch stat line dude, which just says you can't activate stuff in response to, like, trigger... I think it's, like, tribute somebody. I thought that was cool. Uh, okay, so I go for Leela here. I'm out of interaction entirely, but they can only go up to Sunny's Snitch, really. Oh, they've got a Kiss of Kill Frost to extend. That sucks. Um, what do we do on the crackback here? I think we special something back with Eidos. We tribute for Red Baron. Yeah, it's kind of it. 
Hopefully we draw something nice, like, I don't know, Stormforth. I could also run, like, Solar Exchange, because that's just like Stormforth, really, except it's not a Monarch name, which is a lot worse, we need those for Pantheism, for Aether. But it's also... doesn't lock me out of the extra. That's cool. Um, Rip Edea. Um, Landrobe is another cool vassal. He's the rock one. He His special summon effect is that he books one of your opponent monsters and then special summons himself. Which obviously relies on your opponent having a face-up monster that isn't a link monster. So it's not that good, but it's just pretty powerful. It's cool to see that you have a book. And that is true. Some summon effect is something like... Add something... Like a... Add something with vassal stats to... <laughs> Yo, I get the life points back. That's sick, actually. It kind of... That was like a whole a whole trigger of retainer there or something. Um, but he like adds like something with vassal stack from deck to hand. That's a good draw. That's a really good draw. Okay. Okay, so that does lock me out of extra. Fine. One for one. I think we pitch Zelda Glare here. Special familiar. Sunny snitch. Ouch. Familiar. Add... Ghost? Ghost. Also, to note, uh, I didn't put Fascinator in this deck just because... Vampire Fascinator, just because I don't have it and I didn't feel like crafting it. Also could have run, like, Allure of Darkness, probably. That would have helped a lot. There's a lot of dark monsters in here. Whatever. Send Retainer. Add from deck to hand va shadow vamp, probably. Uh, and send a familiar retainer. Still locked out of extra. We send red baron here. We send red baron here. We send ghost. Let's send Ghost. I want to keep the... I want to keep the Red Baron in hand for now. Retainer is going to add... Domain. Domain. Domain, Domain. God, I love... I love vampires. Tribute summon the Shadow Vamp. More Sunny Snitch Burn, which is really bad, actually. It will return. Chain Shadow Bam. Alright, alright, we're getting places. We are not going to do that quite yet. What's special? Okay. Okay. I just realized he did not make Trouble Sunny. So, if he didn't make Trouble Sunny, we just make Voivod, right? It's either Voivod or Red Baron. And since we're kind of low in life points, and I think Voivod is more effective. We just make Wavode? Oh yeah, because we can make Red Baron anyway, right? With... Alright. Let's add Caius. What is the normal summon? It's So activate, pay a thousand, normal a vampire. Instantly. So with that in mind, I think we just add Caius because we already have Red Baron in hand. And Caius extends our toolbox a bit. Then... Let's... Which one pops? Leela pops, right? Yes, it does. Leela pops, kiss a kill, draws. With that in mind... We're still locked out, so let's... Eidos for a Dia. Maybe? Maybe. Eidos for a... No, we don't even need to do that. Let's just ghost here. Or do we wait? Let's ghost here. Let's ghost here. Ghost here. Tribute summon the Red Baron. Tributing the Shadow Vamp. Sunny Snitch hurts. Red Baron. We'll take control of Leela. Give them Retainer. And then go battle. We can only hit with Wavo because of Shadow Vamp's restriction. So he can special a Leela from the graveyard, which doesn't... It's just this Leela, because we took his Leela. This is fine. So what's just going to happen is we're going to hit over with Wobbo, gain life points back because of Domain. 
And then we are good. We're good. We're good. Kiss a kill. He's also going to draw a card. That's fine. I don't think there's anything we can do if we extend our main phase yet. Leela or Kiss a kill. Okay, so... I think we just hit over Leela because it's more damage and more health back. I don't think he can do much with just having the kiss a kill on field. I think either way, he just gets it back if he would. He burns me, that sucks. But we get 2300 back. Just to fuel our more things. God, Sunny Stitch is so annoying. <laughs> Ugh. This deck is so fun. It's so funny, too. There's so many cool just tribute summon monsters. Like, even back in the beginning of Yu-Gi-Oh! When there was the original Monarchs, and there was, like, Jinzo, and, like, Suijin, and Vampire Lord. This is what that has turned into. This is what Tribute Summon Control has turned into. There's also, like, Light and Darkness Dragon, Sea Lancer. I love this game. That was Kiss a Kill's effect. Sick. Brings that back, draws something, whatever. Don't care. We don't have a... Monarch spell and grave, so we can't use ether yet, which is bad. But I mean, we have three storm four, three pantheism, three tenacity, two domain in the deck, and he just linked off my red baron. That's not generally what you're supposed to link off. I think he should have linked off Wavo there. Oh, he specials kiss a kill, secret password. Oh, he's gonna get the Leela extender. Oh no, just channel? What does that do? Well, that's a field spell? I didn't even know you played that. Contribute to negate an attack? Banish kiss a kill? And Leela treat? What in the fuck? Oh, what? Ghost? Kiss a kill and kiss a kill frost. Special one of them. Put the rest on the bottom of the deck. Well, thanks for recycling my ghost, I guess. Um. <laughs> this is hilarious. Okay. Um, I could also. I wish I had the UR points to get super quantum red layer. That's another good part for this. Why is he playing Chaos Creator and Hive Twins? Holy shit. Okay. GG Easy Phoenix. What is he gonna pop here? Oh, Domain. Eh, that kind of sucks for me, but I also don't really care. The best thing about Domain is that it sticks on the field, and you can use the- you can pay and get the normal summon, and then you can just send it for, like, a familiar or a retainer's effect to special, and you still get the normal, but you don't get the, like, life point gain, but that's still, like, you know, I love- I love vampires. I wish they were good- there's so much, like, generic zombie stuff as well, like the Zombie World package with, like, Banshee, Bower Drop, and, um, fucking, what's it called? Uh, I can't think, period. Walks over my board here, which sucks. Vlavoed? But if you special something back, then I can tribute some in Vlavoed, I guess. If I obviously have the stuff for it. What is he doing with channel? Oh, he's shuffling back Kisiko. He doesn't have any interaction here. Well, neither do I, apparently. Um, not, let's... Eidos here. Bring back Idea. Oh! Well, fuck. Uh, I guess we're familiar here. We gotta pitch the Vampire Dragon. Okay. So, unless they target this card. So we can out this. Okay, familiar. Add. Add Ghost. Add a Ghost. Or... Sorcerer. Or Shadow Vamp, I guess. But... I think the correct play is Ghost here. Tribute Summon Caius. I 
love that animation. It's so good. Ooh, Caius. It targets, right? Yep. Target, so it can banish Underworld Goddess. And return will trigger. And I will add a Red Baron. Banish. It doesn't burn? That was definitely Dark Monster. Oh, it's probably one of these, like, weird effects that, like, doesn't... Something probably doesn't make him take burn damage or something. Anyway, we have we gained advantage. He's got not a whole lot left. I've got three cards in hand, a 2400 beater on board. He's got a Leelob, actually. That could do something if he gets an extender off the top. But I also got Return of the Monarchs, which is, at this point, just going to add the two Ethers to my hand each turn. So there's the Leela. Special kiss a kill. It's kind of scary. He could pop Caius here. Or he could pop Return. But I feel like Caius is the pop just because he can't really get over it. Because apparently he doesn't want Sunny Snitch. Leela. Special back the kiss a kill to draw. I don't think he wins. I, I don't know if he can do this, right? He either pops Caius and does things. The biggest thing I'm scared of right now is burn from Sunny Snitch and paying for my own effects. Wait, what? Unchained Abomination? Oh, no. Of course he's running this. They all, they all run this. Why is he using Max? He's going to pop both here. So my play now is, I guess, Normal Summon Ghost Pitch Red Baron to add something... <sighs> add, like, Vamp and pitch... Like a... S I can't even pitch Sork off Ghost. It's gotta be, like, a... It's gotta be, like, a Retainer. How many Retainers have I gone through? Just one of each, and there is a Familiar Engrave. Okay. Nothing on my field. Red Baron, Ghost, and Aether in hand. N can't make Aether, because no spells in Grave, no modern spells. What's the draw here? Desire. Hmm. Hmm. I think I might wind up using that. Okay, send Desire. That's what's going to happen here. Add Vamp. Send Retainer. Can I get two monsters on board to, and a normal summon at the same time? I don't think I can. Maybe I can. Yes, I can. I send Red Baron here. I special Retainer. Retainer pays. Adds Domain. Domain. Domain pay. Or an extra normal. Normal summon Vamp. Tribute Ghost. And Retainer. Vamp. Steal the Unchained Abomination. Oh! <laughs> Attack. <laughs> this is the greatest card of all time. I actually, this is one of my favorite. This is probably one of my favorite cards of all. I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's so fun. It's so fun. I have it pinned up on like my bulletin board, right, like on, like in front of my desk right now, and I'm staring it right, like in my, like in real life, staring vampire vamp pinned onto the bulletin board right next to Exodia the Forbidden One and a cipher card of Mercedes from Fire Emblem, and. I love this goddamn card so much. <laughs> I've stolen I've stolen access codes with this card, and now if he destroys this, by the way, um, it it comes back. <laughs> what? What do I have? Oh, I have return engrave. I'm not gonna do that. But 
I still have Kuraz in the deck, and I've kept him in there for a reason. I should have ethered there, actually, because if I pop these two, he can't make a link, can he? Whatever. It's too late, and I still have a really big fucking vamp on board. Oh my god. <laughs> I love Vampire Vamp. <laughs> uh, another deck I was thinking of making is one that centers around the card Ryu Okami. So he's trying to tribute over Vamp now. So let's banish the return. Pop Vamp? Or tribute Vamp. Maybe that wasn't the right play. Because he is... Vamp does just come back. Ow. Vamp comes back anyway? Okay, Ether. Let's get this rolling, let's get this rolling. Prime. Pantheism. Send those two. Special Akuras. Ow. Vamp comes back. Boom. Kuraz misses timing? You have got to be shitting me. I know Vamp can miss timing. I know Vampire Duke can miss timing, which you're not playing it, but that's part of the Kingdom package. I did not know Kuras. It's a when. It's a when. When. Ah! He's got another abomination. Do I lose? Okay. I don't think I lose. I don't think I do. I think... He's gonna run over something and pop something else. He's probably not gonna want to keep Vamp on the field, and I feel like he might pop Domain, but he might also want to get rid of Ether. He banished. Case of kill for Collapse Serpent. Is this Chaos Live Twin? Okay, we got out another Abomination. What does he run over? Vamp. Figured. Figured. Rest in peace, sweet, sweet queen. Pop. Ether. Okay. I guess I'd rather have Domain on the field than Ether. Because now I get an extra normal, and that is something I can use to special... The nothing I have. Oh, I have a familiar. Oh, and he pops Corazin in step. Okay. Channel, recycle something. Whatever. 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 I'm not going to activate Prime Monarch. Maybe I should be running more Monarch stuff, because I'm... That's... I don't think that's going to do it. Pantheism. Banish. Hmm. Gimme Storm. Gimme... Is that what we want? Mithra is not a very good draw here. What do I have here? An extra normal of a vampire, specifically. A special summon of that... <gasps> I forgot. Yep. I forgot that vampire... I was like, I don't have any way to actually tribute something. I don't have anything to actually tribute summon, but I can just search something with fucking... The... the, the him! <laughs> Okay. Domain. Bam. Just in case I need it. Familiar. I don't really care about the life points, even though Sunny's Snitch is still on the field. Bam. Familiar. Add. Shadow Bamp. Literally the last one in the deck. Stormforth. Tribute his abomination for Shadow Vamp. Shadow Vampire. Special summon a retainer. Retainer, pay, add a domination. Set the domination.
locked out of extra. That is fine. Whew. We have a negate. We have outed the abomination and we have a negate. He does not have, at the moment, a kiss a kill or a Leela on the field, and he has no cards in hand. He will top deck one, and he has been putting back stuff with channel, so it is relatively likely, likely that he will draw one. He was on a 50 card deck. I just realized that. I have drew through his my stuff faster than he has. This duel has gone on for a very long time. Look at all the stuff we have in my grave. We've chewed through so much. Channel. That is fine. Put back a Leela. I have an activation of Prime. I've got a Domination, and I don't think he has a way to clear all of my vamps, because he's got to get over three. He can only run over one with Collapse Serpent. He drew Kiss a Kill. That means he gets a link here. He gets a kiss a kill link. Or he doesn't because he's out of kiss a kills? He's only running two! He wasn't ready for a grind game like this. Tribute the kiss a kill. Negate the attack! What are you doing? <laughs> Walk over retainer with collapse event. I'm totally fine with that. I will literally just use that to bring it back and search something else next turn. Channel. Kiss a kill. Recycle. Sure. What's the draw here? Idos. That's pretty good. We're really drawing into the monarch half of the deck right now. But we are not locked out of our extra actually at the moment. That is pretty funny. You could retain her here. That would get us a search. That would get us a send. Maybe? Because of desire. Mm. It could get us another, our third domain, it could get us an awakening. I don't think it really matters. No matter what happens, we just end up with either savior or something. How do we assemble lethal? How do we assemble lethal? Is there a way to assemble lethal? Does this lock me out of the extra deck? It does not. It does not lock me out of the extra deck. Banish the Stormforth. Special the Prime. Eidos does normal summon. Does not knock me, lock me out of the extra. I cannot make Borolo because it requires effects, and this is a normal monster. But, I can do this. I can Eidos. Do that. Link Prime and Eidos for Nightmare Phoenix. Sure. I don't really need this Mithra. Uh, I just don't want this sunny snitch to do shit anymore because it's annoying the hell out of me. Idos. Vanish. That just locked me out of the extra. No! I fumbled it. I needed to do that after. Alright. Whatever. Special Berlineth. Oh, that was a misplay. I thought I could send the familiar, but it, I can't because it's special summon itself. All right, now I'm fumbling shit. I just need to get the search. I should add desire. No, no, because that would fuck me over. I guess I gotta add awakening. What do I special off awakening at this point? I think I still have like a Sorkin deck. Yeah, pretty sure I do. Just that because this is once per turn, and I don't care. Not yet. Go to attack. Is this lethal? Phoenix in. Um, this is lethal. Fellas. Fellas. Oh. Holy shit. This is the best deck of all time. Oh my god. <laughs> this, that was, that was worthy of getting promoted to silver. I just went on to like my old alt 
not my old alt, but like my the one that has like the stuff in it and these like cards in it and I haven't like played ranked in a while. Anyway, here's the deck list. Three Adia, three Familiar, two Maxi, I only have two, one Mithra, three Eidos, three Retainer, Erwineth, three Ghost, one Sorcerer could go to, probably not a good idea. Vampire Dragon, very cuttable, but I don't care. Shadow Vampire, Caius, Kuraz, two Red Baron, I forgot to mention this is two Shadow Vamp. Seliglare has an extra target off of Ether, as well as Kuraz. Vamp, this is so cuttable, but god, you can't not include it. Three Ether, one Voivode, I only have one, but I probably should only run one anyway. Foolish, one for one, three Tenacity, three Pantheon, not like you saw much of any of these. Three Desire, might cut one and run like something else, in this, like another Monarch spell trap instead. Two Domain, it locks you out, but whatever. Return, it locks you out as well, but it's poppable with Kuraz, and that's really cool, and it also generates you a lot of advantage. Domain, crazy. Stormforth, ridiculous. Awakening, slow, but still, a, it's a special summon from deck. Um, Domination is one of the best counter traps in the game. Prime Monarch is great. Extra is mostly just stuff you normally run for vampires minus synchros. Uh, yeah, because normally you run like Unizombie and Zombie World stuff, but that's too optimal for this. God damn it, I love, I love it. I love it. Um, what changes could I make? Hmm. Mmm. Probably add that and cut something. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. Um, I don't think the rest of this stuff is good. What does this card even do again? Oh, it's only if you control no cards, which we're not doing. This is extra deck monarchs, but <laughs> fucking hilarious. Ugh. Anyway, that's gonna be it for this very interesting episode. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry I've born this upon the world, this tier zero meta threat, but you know I had to. Anyway, to all my Italian viewers, ciao y'all, and to all my English-speaking viewers, probably not how you say that. See you in the next one. Bye!